A prime piece of downtown real estate now owned by the Indianapolis Public School System is about to get a new life. Yeah, in fact, it is the old Coca-Cola plant at the northeast end of Massachusetts Avenue. You may remember for years, IPS used it as a bus garage, but now our City View reporter Mary Mills tells us that at least five groups now want to redevelop this property. It was once the largest Coke bottling plant in the world, but for the last 40 years, it's been home to the IPS Transportation Center. It is the best piece of real estate in the city, by far. And Michael Cosine, who owns Mimi Blue's restaurant adjacent to the site, is eager to see what's next. Encompass pretty much the entire area. The 11-acre site includes several buildings and a sprawling parking lot. One developer, Strategic Capital Partners, has proposed a hotel, housing, offices, retail, and a park. The others are also mixed use, which Cosine likes. The development in, in general will have people down here all the time as opposed to coming down here for dinner and then leaving, coming down here to see one or two shops and then leaving this area. In the last few years, new apartments and businesses have moved in, including Homespun. The manager says they love the urban feel. They're excited about a new anchor. I think for us, it's getting more people down on this end of the avenue as it develops. IPS has said whatever goes in here has to fit the neighborhood, provide an economic boost, and appeal to families with school-age kids who live downtown. I live downtown along with my family, and so I'm always looking for additional places to eat or shop or take my own children to play. Andrea Hunley is principal of the district's Center for Inquiry, which is less than a mile from the old Coke plant. She says her students and others will definitely benefit through the sale of the property. Because more money means that we can do more for the kids in the classrooms, and that's what we do, you know, why we do what we do each day. IPS leaders are holding a briefing here on the status of those six bids, what they'll be basing their decision on, and the timeline for that decision. We'll have more at 6. Back to you guys.